Excuse me, gentlemen. If I could, I'd like to have your attention, walk you through the basics of how to tie a Windsor knot. I know that you all have jobs, you're all employed, and you probably know how to tie a tie. But uh, walking through the basics never hurts. It's good to cover all the points. See if maybe it's something that you had learned. Maybe you can teach me something as well as I can teach you something. Now, it's important to have a tie that matches with what you're going, fits the color that you're going here. I like red. It's a color that shows confidence. Black pinstripes with a little bit of shiny silver here. Colors that I like make me feel confident. The reason we're tying a Windsor knot today is because it is a knot that exudes confidence and shows your potential employers or the people that you're presenting to that you're comfortable and that you are confident in what you're going to say and how you're going to say it. So I've got a big neck. I like to start with a lot of leftover tie here and you'll see toward the end why that is. So I take with my right hand the thick part of the tie and in my left hand I take the thin part put it somewhere in between these two buttons here take it the wide part over the top of the left you can follow along in the handout that I have given each of you so that you're able to see what's going on here take it over the top make a nice little X bring the thick part of my tie here up underneath bring it all the way through and then to make sure that it lays smooth I like to press it like you would the edge of a piece of paper bring it over underneath the thin part here which I hold in my left hand bring it over to my my right tuck it back through the loop and then I pull it down and around back out so that this part of the tie is inside out you can see here this is the tail holder I like to call it you'll start to see the beginning of your v-shape form when you make it to this step so now I take my part of the inside out tie I rotate it over the top across the front and I keep my finger right here underneath this part of the tie along the edge of that V. Roll it over the top, pull it down. You can see it's in between my, my forearm and my body here, but I haven't done anything else. Pull it up underneath the tie. I pull it all the way through, make it a little snug, and leave that hole where my finger is still resting. I can push the tie right back through. When I do that, you can see it starts to flat the tie out. So I take both my thumbs and my forefingers and I grab right here around the edge of the tie and I make it nice and tight because like I said, I have a big neck so it's going to make it very important that I do this. Now that I've got it, see that the tie, the knot doesn't look too bad, the tail's not sticking out to the side, there's no big wrinkles. I take pull gently, start to form a nice little triangle there, then I can pull it gently, take two fingers and grab at the bottom of my knot, take the back side of my tail here, the thin narrow part as it's described, work it up to my neck, and then I adjust for my wrinkles, which is why I need to be in front of a mirror when I do this, pull again gently to make my triangular shape here, just a quick tug at the neck makes that nice and tight. Then I take my tail, I tuck it into its keeper here on the back of the thick part of my tie, and I roll my collar down. Now I'm ready. I'm ready to go give a presentation, or I'm ready to go talk to my potential employer, or I'm ready to go tell my current employer that I'm ready for a promotion, I'm ready for a raise. I'm ready for whatever it may be that, that I need to, to discuss today. You want your tie to hold between your belly button and your belt buckle, somewhere in that length. You don't want it to be short up here, looks a little funny. You also don't want it to be hanging down below your pants, also makes it look a little unprofessional. For those of you who are getting ready to graduate, you'll see that this is something you will need in the very near future. For those of you who are furthering your career, Good luck.
I hope that I have uh, given you some information that you can use. Does anyone have any questions? Is there anything that uh, you'd like to say? No? Gentlemen, have a good day.